Okay guys, gonna move on to some more drills now. So these are intermediate drills, if you like. We still gotta work really hard on that breathing position, that head position in the water, keeping that leg kick nice and relaxed and body position nice and calibrated, if you like, on top of the water. Okay, moving on to single arm. You can see on the single arm drill underwater here, on the extension, your head is down naturally. You shouldn't be able to see that extended arm out in front of you. So not until you've set up the catch and your head is looking down naturally, should that hand come into your vision. So once that hand is into your vision, that is your trigger or your key point for when you are then going to kick down with that same side leg and then get ready to make that rotation through. So when we see this from the rear, what you'll notice is how far out that elbow comes on the catch. So if we freeze it here, as the elbow, as you set up the catch, see how far out that elbow is. You can then see the hand in that position and you're ready to kick down simultaneously when you go to pull on the water. And that will give you the timing of the stroke. Single arm is an excellent drill for really sorting out the balance between left and right sides and making sure we don't have any weaknesses there. Catch, pause, engage. This is now putting you into a full swim stroke, but really working on the timing of the swim stroke. So you're in a nice, relaxed, balanced position. You're setting up the catch, and once you're ready to pull, then whatever hand you're catching with, you need to kick simultaneously with the same leg. And you can see in this position here, once you get that happening and working, the timing starts to happen with the stroke. Next one, catch, pause, and then three strokes. You could even pause on the three strokes if you wanted to, guys, just to stop you from snatching or pulling too quickly at the front end of the stroke. So here we can see you're pausing on all of these pausing drills. And again, when you do your distance swims at the weekends or whatever else, and there's pausing in there, you pause with the recovery arm over the head and the extended arm in the catch position. Again, try and get used to that leg dictating when you actually pull on the water or underneath the water. And then all we're gonna do with these drills is just progress it up to seven strokes. You can do as many strokes as you want and, you know, until you've done a length, of the, a length of the pool, but you're just looking to set up every single time, really set up and get that leg kick to dictate. You can see here, he doesn't kick until he's ready to press or pull.